In KiCad 8, the integration between the schematic and PCB layout has been improved with the automatic reflection of net class assignments. So any net class assignments in the schematic are now seamlessly integrated into the PCB layout. This happens automatically. So let's have a look at what this looks like. So I've got a bunch of net classes in this example. Have a look at the schematic. Uh, set up and you can see net classes and I've set those up. Now one thing that I did uh, just before starting to record this video is that I went to PCB new or the layout editor and I added a new net. Uh, this one here in particular SPI clock and that did come across automatically into the schematic editor. I didn't have to do anything to make that work. I'm actually going to show you again. So I just deleted that. Just click OK and then have a look. So there it is. I'm going to delete it. So we are now in sync and I'm going to start again. Let's say that one of those nets or I want to put them in a different net class. So it's got its own unique uh, features when I draw the tracks. So I'm going to edit here. I'm going to say SPI clock and let's give that track width of 0.15 millimeters. Done and OK then back in the schematic editor have a look and there's the SPI clock net class so that came across automatically now the other thing that I want to try out is to make an assignment doesn't really matter I'm just going to take this one here CS0 and I'm going to assign it to the new SPI clock net class like that and hit OK All right I'll save that just a habit just going to the layout manager now and have a look first of all what happened here with this assignment uh, it was uh, SC0 SPI clock you can see that the assignment came across automatically and now let's have a look where is the CS0 net I'm just going to use this search panel for this so let's look for net SC0 have that highlighted there it is you can see that that belongs to the SPI clock like that. And uh, if I double click on it, you can see that it's struck with is 0.15. So that actually didn't update it. So I'll have a look at what the width of this track is. So you can see it's in the correct net class, but it's still using the old track width. So see if I can use this feature here to get this track to inherit the new track width from the net class rules. So OK, yeah, and it did work actually. All right, that's good. So I'm just going to redo this, but now I'm going to use the select all tracks in net. And there could be a more efficient way to do what I'm doing here. And then go for properties and again, use the same method to apply the width for this track as per the net class rules to the entire track and not just the single part of the track. All right. So to recap the new feature, the net class assignment integration makes it easier to streamline the design process between the schematic editor and the layout editor. And of course that saves time and the potential for errors and mismatches between the two editors.